What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the cowl cover on this 2010 Toyota RAV4. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. All right, we wanna take this cover off the arm. I'm just gonna use a straight blade screwdriver or a pocket screwdriver. Just take that cover off right there. Or you could use a pick as well. All right, now I'm gonna take a 14 millimeter socket extension and a ratchet. Take this nut off. You can hold the arm so you don't put too much tension on the actual wiper transmission. There you go. It's still on there pretty good. Take that nut off. All right, before I take the arm off, I'm actually just gonna mark where the wiper arm is. You could make a mark right here or even right there or on the other side and just keep in mind so that you can put the wiper back where it was when you're done. Now you can use a special tool to remove these arms. Um, what I'm gonna do is just grab it though and just rock it back and forth. That loosens it up. And just grab the arm, slide it off. And then you can do the same with the other side. So there's some push pins on this side. There's one on the other side as well. You can take a trim tool, try to remove this. A lot of times these break, so you can try to pull them out. Sometimes it might be easier if you use two trim tools. Get one on each side. And <clears throat> this one's pretty much broken anyway. So what I'm gonna do is cut it off. I'm just gonna use some side cutters. Cut it, and we'll just have to replace this one. But if you can salvage it, then uh, that would be good. So do the same on the other side. All right, so this panel is snapped in right here. You can feel underneath where you can find the clips or you can see a little button right there. That's where the clip is. There's a clip right there. So you just slide underneath here. You can use a trim tool. Unsnap it. There's another one over here. And over here. Just like that. All right, this rubber piece right here, you just slide out like that. You can slide it off completely. It just clips in up there. You can either slide it out of this panel here or just slide it off up top, either way. Then I'll do the same for this side. Just slide that up. And I can just grab this little panel and just slide it towards the front of the vehicle. Slide it up. All right, now just take the cover and we're gonna slide it in on the back. There's this piece right here that's gonna slip underneath the windshield. Just like that, kind of angle it down a little bit. Get that all underneath up top. We can line these pins up. Push it back down. I'm gonna reinstall these rubber pieces on the sides. Slide it into the cowl cover first. And then this will slide in underneath the front fender. Just like that. I'll do the same for the other side. All right, now I'm just gonna take a pocket screwdriver and push the old push pin out that I had to cut. It comes out underneath if you can grab the other piece. I'll do the same for the other side. Now I got some new push pins, so I'm gonna put these in. Um, we sell a 
a bunch of different kits that have new push pins for your vehicle. So check it out at 1AAuto.com. Push those in, I'll do the same on the other side. All right, take the wiper arm, slide it back in position. Make sure you put it where you marked it on the windshield. If you marked it, take, install the nut. I like to just push down on the arm a little bit just to get that to line up right. Take the 14 millimeter socket extension and a ratchet and we'll just snug this up. That's good. Take the cap, line it up. And lock it down and do the same with the other one. Good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.